Have you ever had such a dream during the long and stressful work day about sitting in a warm corner with a book in your hands and just enjoying your cozy evening discovering an Australian fantastic world or solving problems in detectives or learning more about new subjects starting from kids' laws people have to follow, finishing with astrophysics? Finally, this moment came. You're at home and it looked almost like you reached your goal. But then, suddenly, Instagram or Facebook grabbed you in its virtual hugs. Or a movie watched by other family members. Or other exceptionally necessary things to deal with. An inner wish and even your brain you test all day pushed you to say no and go reading. But at the same time, procrastinator routine was already switched on. Disappointing, isn't it? That's how it worked for me. <laughs> when I enrolled in secondary school, I was already a crazy bookworm. I used to get up early every morning of my summer holidays, living in my grandparents' town and rush to the library. I wanted to take as many books as it was possible to satisfy my curiosity. My boy peers didn't quite understand what was wrong with me as I enjoyed playing basketball the same as reading. <laughs> but year by year, as any other normal teenager, I started to struggle with my time management. Trying to combine both education at art and secondary school, attending karate lessons or dance club or swimming pool another year, I began to feel myself like a seal who was juggling with the balls, or just trying <laughs> to juggle. Feeling the closeness to the culmination, I decided it's time to stop this awful ritual of I don't have time for reading once and forever. I promised myself to read one book per week. Even though my experiment is going, I already feel how mind-blowing and engaging this journey already is. So what's so unique about reading? We all heard that the most successful and powerful people of all times and folks found time to read between their world-changing things. A young Elon Musk, before growing up to become Tesla father, read 10 hours each day. Former Microsoft Bill Gates read a new book every week, as well as Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook founder. Keeping my experiment rolling, I emphasized lots of benefits of such a precious habit and now I want to share my insights with you. The first is that your worldview becomes bigger. Not even bigger, but really endless. There are no more walls which can stop your mind. Living through the pages, you can analyze different situations, points of views, issues and their solvings. The more knowledge you have, the better equipped you are to tackle any challenge you will ever face in your life. 21st century became gifted with an enormous development of technologies. It helped humanity to make a considerable step almost in all fields. But to be honest, we have to recognize our concentration doesn't find it so cool. Whenever a social page is opened, our attention usually just lose. Uh, but really, mostly for what? A new cute kitten's photos? Memes? Yeah. I enjoy all this stuff very much, but not when I break all my working plans. Books are the key to become more concentrated. Improving such a skill where reading will be later much easier to implement on a daily basis. Do you remember yourself reading some kind of literature, for example, detective, and trying to predict what will happen next? That's how our critical thinking works. Words on a piece of paper have tremendous power. They keep our minds always active, giving it food for reflections. And particular reflections are the source of dreams and passions, which later move the world forward. What was your the least favorite 
Okay, it's too softly said. Have you ever had such a dreadful class in school which you had in your nightmares? Cause I did. I hated biology with all my heart. But once, everything changed. I was reading Jules Verne's novel and just fell in love. In deep love with his descriptions of trees, plants and animals, it motivated me to rethink our boring school material and seek for information independently. One day, you can see yourself, for example, reading a book about engineering, being an artist deeply in your soul. Any topic can be fascinating if you find right books written with right words by the right people. The last, but not least, is that kind of relaxation and self-awareness I've experienced during my experiment. What can be better than forgetting all daily troubles and struggles and deepen in the other world? Such sort of meditation became a significant ceremony when all my thoughts go away and I can just recharge. You can say now, okay, yes, we understood that reading is worth it, but still we don't have time for it. And I will tell you, if Bill Gates, Michael Zuckerberg, and even me <laughs> managed to find time to read, then everyone can. Here, I formulated five small rules that helped me to find time in my busy schedule and I hope will serve you as well. Firstly, start. Really, just start. It may be terrifying, but now you know the value of reading and should not be afraid of self-improving. Secondly, choose the books you like. It is not so important which books you read for the first time. What really plays a role is your desire to continue. If you start with something boring or too complicated, it can just destroy your great intention. Thirdly, dump bad books or books that are above your head. It is pretty connected with the previous one, but it's crucial to know even if you're a profi reader. So just leave a book for some time and return one day if you feel the need to try again. The first one is limit distraction. Lock your phone, put it in the darkest corner of your home, turn off Wi-Fi if you necessitate it. Firstly, life really will be easier. Secondly, you will be free as a bird to read. What is more, if you have such an opportunity, do it outdoors and enjoy the calmness inside. The last is reflex on the reading. You can do it while just thinking or what is much better while discussing with your friends or using online portals. There is a variety of options, but please do it as it will help you to replace the information to the long-term memory for the rest of the life and later manage it freely. Finally, I believe that curious people are those ones who make our planet rolling. Stay curious and not let the circumstances terminate your life. Say no to all cute kittens on Instagram. You deserve the best books and only a life life is instead. Thank you for your attention.